NSN NK reformation aruke kango fraction kan India Sorkar Maju ceasefire agreement Milaigana Barai Dishe Aru itu April twenty-eight para Shuru Hobo Aru Ahia Sal April twenty-seven Tak Chulibo Kwegana Janaiche. Ministry of Home Affairs para press not issue Korea te kuishe egg sal nimite ceasefire agreement sign kurishe aru itu do ep twenty eight April two thousand twenty two para chulibo twenty seventh April two thousand and twenty three tak NSN NK logo aru N S C N R logo eighteenth April two thousand twenty two para shuru kurigena seventeenth April two thousand and twenty three tak hobo itu agreement to nineteenth April two thousand twenty two te sign kurishe aru duita fractions laga delegations itu extension papers to additional secretary to minister of home affairs puyush koyal logo signed kurishe itu oporde gprn nscn para kwa hisab te cease fire agreement extend kuria to naga manukhan ge milai gena pradesh te peace rakhibo nimite kurishe aru cease fire laga ground rules ke iku mamla olaile duita party majo mutual review thakibo kuise aru itu opor aru jankari pabo nimite ami han phone jabo mohan la senior content producer logo de Uh, yes, Johanna, as you have just informed our viewers that the center has signed the extension of ceasefire agreement with three Naga insurgent groups. As you have already mentioned, once again, I would like to specify for our viewers that the center has extended the ceasefire agreement with three of the Naga insurgent groups, you know, they, which are, which are, uh, which a breakaway section from NSCN IMN, NSCNK, the Insurgent factions that has signed agreement with the government of India on Tuesday are the National Socialist Council of Nagaland NK faction and the National Socialist Council of Nagaland Reformation faction, the NSCNR and NSCNK Congo faction no, that have signed the agreement that has said that the ceasefire agreement has been extended for a period of one year. And the sign, the agreement has been signed between the government of India and its additional Home Secretary Piyush Goel, and between the factions of NSCNM, those who are in Delhi. And it was decided that the agreement between the NSCN NK and NSCNR, the two faction out of the three, the ceasefire agreement has been extended with the effect from 20th April 2022 to 27th April 2023. That means exactly for one year. However. The third faction, NSCNK Khangu, has extend. Uh, the, they have signed the agreement, and it is mentioned that the agreement between these two parties, that me, that means the government of India and NSCNK Khangu, has been extended for a period of 28 April to 17th of April, 10 days less than the agreement signed with the previous two uh, factions. But this is the detail that we have got, and the agreements were signed on 19th april that means yesterday and meanwhile as the viewers can see we have the press release issued by the ministry of home affairs it has been also mentioned in another release by the nscn faction is that the step has been taken to bring peace into the state of nagaland and to uh, uh, to and as because you know uh, overall uh, the uh, in the last few years the Naga political issue has been one of the prime subjects as far as Nagaland is concerned. Interestingly, as we have already aired the news, that mean factions already. Uh, Johanna, I would like to add something that meanwhile we all know that the government of India appointed emissary AK Mishra is already stationed in Nagaland. He has arrived in Nagaland on Monday and yesterday he met with NSN IM officials, NSN uh, IM General Secretary Tungaleng Weba and as we have all the informations coming out from Nagaland is that from tomorrow onwards, that is from April 21st, the formal meetings with all the stakeholders of Naga political issue will take place. Tomorrow it is expected that uh, AK Mishra will meet the NNPGs where he will talk about how to resolve the impasse. And in the following two days, that is on April 22nd and 23rd, Mishra is expected to meet formally with NSCNI. Meanwhile, yesterday he visited Camp Hebron, being the first emissary or government of India appointed interlocutor who visited the NSCNI headquarters on Tuesday. 
a meeting took place between General Secretary Tungeleng Muiva and Mishra for about an hour. And later in the day, he also met with other senior leaders of NSNIM. And so it has been anticipated that from uh, Friday onwards, the next phase of peace talks will, uh, will, uh, will be taken place and it will decide the further future roadmap of the entire peace process. So uh, amid all this development, this extension of ceasefire agreement with the three polity uh, NSCNIM factions also uh, holds a major significance as far as the Naga political issue is concerned, Johanna. The, so how are the other factions reacting to the ceasefire agreement? Uh, well, as of now, there has been no uh, response or uh, uh, from the other groups uh, as far as we have the information right now. However, uh, it has been believed that such agreements of ceasefire is, is, is a hint that, you know, uh, political dialogues will take place in the coming days when the interlocutor is there in Nagaland itself. He is he's stationed in Chumukidima. Uh, and in the police complex, all the actions will take place in the coming days as well. It will continue. So it will be interesting to see what these factions have, who have already signed the ceasefire agreement, what uh, deliberations will deli uh, take place between the interlocutor and the factions. In meanwhile, I have already mentioned that uh, tomorrow the NNPGs are expected to meet AK Mishra. So it will it will, it will be interesting to see you know how the things uh, come out. Although uh, nothing has been um, it, uh, informed about the developments to the media. Yesterday also we were uh, in Camp Hebron, but no information were revealed. But uh, uh, sooner or later, it seems that the statements will come out regarding the political talks that took place. So uh, we will keep an eye and we'll, uh, we'll be able to update only when we get a concrete information and development that take place in coming days. Ivana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the update. Itu news na Mohan update puri thagi bo Mohan latest information paile. NSC and NK reformation aru ke Kango factions kan aru India Sorkar Majo ceasefire agreement milai gana barai dise aru itu April 28 para shuru khobo aru ahia sal April 27 tak chulibo koi gana janai she Ministry of Home Affairs para press note issue kuria te kui she ek sal nimite ceasefire agreement sign kuria aru itu 28 April 2022 para Julibo 27th April 2023 tak NSCN NK logote aru NSCN R logo 18th April 2022 para shuru kurigina 17th April 2023 tak hobo itu agreement to 19th April 2022 to sign kurishe aru itu duita fractions laga delegations itu extension papers to additional secretary to Ministry of Home Affairs Piyush Goyal logo sign kurishe Itu opore GPRN NSCN para kwa hisapte. Ceasefire agreement extend kuriato. Naga manukan ke milai gana Pradesh te peace rakibo nimite kurishe. Aru ceasefire ground rules te iku mamla olaile. Duita party majo mutual review takibo kuishe. Upolaga teng tidabi hujna. Hoy sir. How about a thing to Mila Bide? Okay, sir. Wow, a man shining or a book. What's your hands? I love it. You do think the Nipko Dutch brand like a Hana Gule Aji Apni Lagahati, Ektavi, but you bought a Yanai day. It's all get Hanjava TV. You don't Nipko Dutch like a blow mold and guess it. He will be Nafangu guaranteed.